Hey guys! It was a little over two weeks is all we need to wait to start looking at the girls arriving to Vegas for this year's Miss Universe badge. But before we get into the subject of Miss Universe, I just want to share with you that I proudly supported and I still support the No Hate campaign. This campaign was originated in California by celebrity photographer Adam Bushka and his boyfriend Jeff Parsley as a protest against Proposition 8 that banned gay marriage in that state. And about four weeks ago, they visited Florida for the first time, specifically Fort Lauderdale. So I felt like I had to be there, so I drove about 30 miles just to join because I'm a strong believer of equal rights. And I thought it was a great opportunity for me to also show what I stand for. Right now, there are over 5,000 pictures on their website. If you want more information about this campaign, just visit their website. It's nohatecampaign.com. There's so many ways to help. So yeah, so kudos for a No Hate campaign. Don't hate people. And now I'm talking about Miss Universe material. Let's start saying there is a story going on with this year's Miss Australia's national costume. The thing is that Miss Australia just seemed to Campbell as a well-known Australian designer, Natasha Dwyer, to create her national costume for this year's Miss Universe pageant, but she was also asked to fund the dress herself. The designer claims that she's honored by this request, but she seems a little bit stressed out because she needs to come up around $15,000 in such a period of time. So she already started a campaign to raise money for this dress and she even has a YouTube video asking people mostly from Australia to support this cause. To me it's a little bit concerning that she has such a short period of time to raise the money, make the design and also make the actual dress. So good luck to Miss Australia, I can't wait to see it. It better is a good one. And this year's Miss Universe will count with 85 contestants, one of the highest numbers in the last years, maybe due to the controversy or just the fact of the turns that organization has been given to the show lately. A lot of countries are coming back, countries that have over 20 years um, without competing, such as Haiti, for instance, that it doesn't compete since 1989. By the way, Miss Hades, a dog virgin, was living in Dominican Republic for a big part of her life. She moved there in 1995 after her mom got assassinated in a horrible tragedy in Haiti. So she moved with her dad to Dominican Republic. There she had the opportunity to go to college and graduate as a lawyer. She is definitely one of the girls who will bring attention this year because it's also a great year for Haiti to come back after tragedy of January. So it's a good chance, you know, for the country to be happy again and to have a reason to celebrate. And she's a great, great day. She's very smart. She's very pretty. And for sure, she will bring a lot of attention. So good luck and welcome back to Haiti, to Miss Universe. Now, this year, I want to hear more about your ideas, your opinions, and creativity. I'm going to leave a question at the end of this video, and I would love you to respond to it. But I also want you to send a proposal for the next question. So the most creative and interesting answer will be featured on the next video, as well as the most interesting question. I would really, really love to see your answers and questions for this particular project. So let's start now. For this video, the question is...